Y'all, welcome back in. It is my absolute honor to bring you guys the next episode of Final Fantasy 16. So if you guys were here for the last one, you know that we have two side missions to finish real quick. Also, I did look up Tears of Mercy and it is showing currently locked, but apparently if I talk to Vivian, I should still be able to do it after we speak to Vivian. So we are gonna do the Marble Quest and we're gonna finish up with Blacksmith Blues. We'll talk to Vivian and then we'll try to tackle this very last one and then get back to Across the Narrow. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for being here. And let's go. Let's start by talking to him and Russia. seeing exactly what he needs. Dang. A shirt? This is a tavern, not a brothel? Who's wearing, who's underdressed? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. I don't recognize who that is. Oh, Bard, sing me a song. A good song of the sea. I actually want to hear all of his bard songs because he has such a good voice. Yote is still thinking that <laughs> our brother is gone. I'd imagine that it has to change after we leave on the next mission. She'll probably pop over and be like, no, 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 you're not leaving without me. Uh, not you, not you. All right, so what is wrong with him once again? Heard the bad news then, did you? Oh, gosh. What bad news? About Dravosht. Oh. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing oh, hay for like no. no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A cash Kashik. And they don't have Every warriors. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Dorish sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only right. so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. <laughs> if something ain't done soon. The old place will be overrun. Okay, we do need to finish this out. Yes, I have to help. I won't let that happen. That also didn't makes sense. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. Oh. He'd only do something stupid. Okay. He you probably already will. Him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well. I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. Okay. I'll see you in Dravosht. You don't want to travel together? All right, we're going to prioritize this. This makes sense why we got it right away, like when we completed Blacksmith Blues 3. I was so harsh on that, but yeah, it makes sense. All right, let's travel out. Let's go ahead and... Okay, we can do the Morble after. The Morble is in a rush. This is, you know, this is important. Time maybe matters. I don't know. I can't trust any games now. Don't know if I wait in a game if it will cost me anymore. So Dravosht is still standing, for now at least. Look. If you can swing a hammer, you can swing a sword. Now, it's not every single forge that's back up and running. Oh my goodness, my allergies today have been really, really bad. Yeah, none of the other forges are lit, except for those two, still. Okay, what's up, August? Clive! You're here! And the Akashic? I feel like Blackthorn's Mostly gonna know. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris' scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. Yeah. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back. Zot. Sid. Missed me already. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabozd would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw. And the person you insulted. Out again. I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Yep, there he is. Man of the hour. I knew it. I... Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? 
One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. <laughs> Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it he been? He called him his best mate. Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches, I see. That your idea of an apology? Prick. <laughs> Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. Mm -hmm. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. Hold on, my the nose. Best blacksmith in Travos. I can't leave, but I I can't pause. Can I pause it? Okay, hold on, hold on. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. Mm. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and bar for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. That's so true. I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you've had to do was your duty. Oh. Even if it meant we all starved. Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. Fine. I've Fair said point. my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. <laughs> Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Okay. He's gonna talk to Blackthorn himself, I suppose. Speak with him when you're ready. Okay. Can I go straight into it? You, uh, ready for the off then? That's weird that it did that. Yeah. We can't afford to waste any more time. I guess maybe. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackthorn. Oh no, what's happening? Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move. Yeah, okay. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. <sighs> what are they going to do for their... About nasty surprises? The yeah, for like what right they use. If we stay out in the, open. the resources. We're back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Mm. Understood. Mm, 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 mm. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? Yeah. No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what a Kashyyyk beast can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. Okay. And if they kill you, you evacuate. I love how we always act like there's an option, as if I'm going to get killed. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? What for, yeah? I love just like the new speech that I'm learning. Oh, what was the quote from yesterday that I loved so much? There was one I really, really enjoyed. Oh. Um. Okay, that's a new one. That has right. got to be a new beast, right? Which one of you's first? Uh, no, we've seen a big horn before. Okay, no, we just haven't had an Akashic big horn. Haven't we? Have we seen a big horn before? Oh my damage. I, I don't know, we'll look in a second. That was stupid. That didn't do nearly enough damage. Alright, here we go. Ow! Fuck you. I can't freeze him. Hmm. Would appear. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Ooh. It's broken! We can level it up soon, I think. Maybe after we get our next patron. 
or as we speak. Did I not level it up at the end of yesterday as much as I was talking about it? Oh, he looks so fucking staggered. Is there a second one? There we go. I love how you can freeze like multiple ones. Ooh, never gonna catch me. Let me try to grab more. <laughs> nice. Alright, we got this again. <laughs> nice. Keep him frozen. Ultimate. There's probably going to be a third wave if I had to guess, though, so I need to be careful. Come here. Yep, more enemies approaching. It's another big boy. Is that a curl? No, a griffin? A griffin? Nice. Ooh! There we go. Do the freezer room. Wait till we can have that frozen for longer. Oh. Oh, ow. Okay. Oh. He tossed me. Nice. Temporarily staggered. I'm not going to be able to get through this cooldown on it. No. Whoa! He's jumping. Leaping lizards. Nice. Freeze into him. Ooh! Do her ultimate again. Her stuff has such a low cooldown, too. <sighs> that was awesome. Is that it? You've got to be kidding me. Apparently not. Is that a Hydra? What the hell is that? Only in Dravid. Uh, it, me? A Chimera? 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 Is it Crimea? No, Chimera. Chimera? Chimera? A canyon! That them there canyon. This real quick. What makes him a canyon one though? I didn't get it in time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh nice. Wait, was he doing the ice right there? Oh, he can do multiple different abilities. I see. He's a chonky boy. Ow. The ice on that. Ow. I've like forgotten how to do anything. I need to be careful. I gotta take a potion so I don't die. I was hoping to stagger him first before. There we go. That'll be good. That'll be good. And then we'll go limit break. Nice. He's in there. Freeze him. We'll do this. He's a tanky man. Mr. Chonk. There we go. That'll do a lot of damage. Oh. Ah. How did I still not? Oh, Graham's voice. Nice. There we go. Toss that up. I'm just gonna take a potion to be on the safe side. I'd rather... There we go. Break it. Baruta him. Nice. Get the lightning attack on him. We're still gonna have to take him down a few more times. There's no way that breaking his posture bar will kill him the next time. Oh no. I am not getting the timing on that done. 
Wow. I'm getting hit by that. Dodge the fire. All right, he's staggered. I have two limit breaks. I can do the ultimate. I can do Shiva's ultimate and lightning. Still not getting enough. Maybe. Yeah, wait, wait, I think it's gonna, okay. Nice. Nice. That was cool. I don't think we've seen that enemy before. I think that would be a new one. Which, wait, don't we have three beasteries left? Three creatures for the beastery. And two of them might be hunt board stuff too. You've been a very bad kiddo. Are those oh, the deer heads? Is, They're like deer serpent heads. Did I miss any? <laughs> Man alive! You're still in one piece? Yeah. I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like yes. it. Yes, okay. There's no well, more. Almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. But you do know. Mm. More will come in time. Yeah. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Woo! Now let's see if these old lot are still gonna argue. Oh, look at him sulking in the corner. Come on. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. <laughs> but mostly, I felt grateful. Dravos won't forget what you did today. Another I'm ally. afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate town. to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the ether flood Until... springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. It's not a bad position. We'll fortify the gates to the north. And I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Okay. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Gavosh <laughs> needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. Too bloody right you shouldn't. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when for me it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. Mm. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. <laughs> Finally, Respectfully. Something we can agree on. Respectfully. But you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy yeah. even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not mm. about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. Wow. It's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare not let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. <laughs> 
Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The master smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. Friends again. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? I would Even say better so. than I'd hoped. Sid. What? I've you got have something, something for you. you. Okay. An award? Oh, is this going in my... Wait, seal obtained? You accept the cracked anvil. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander <gasps> gift. A weapon? Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. Uh, there's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. Except... I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel. And I've learned to own an edge Odin would be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you mm. forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? That's true. Mm. The jeweled ring. ring. I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongs. Wow! And so together they can my make hand it. To a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. Yes. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> Blackburn's you face never what? changes. <laughs> I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the either way, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Right. Zoltan, oh, get your tools. Hey. We've got a legend to forge. And a new blade. Like one of that much renown. Okay, so before we go back to the hideaway, let's go kill that Morble, you guys, so that we can complete that quest as well. Let me pop into Rosaria. So, it should be up in here, apparently, according to the map. I wonder if we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to turn around and do the other side mission as well after we talk to Vic, I almost said Vicky. What's her name? Victoria? Victoria Ninetales? No, Victoria doesn't sound right. Vivian, Vivian. Yeah. Like that doesn't sound right. Okay, so I'm headed around here and then to the side. To the mobile. Blacksmith Blues. I feel like this is where we're gonna get our favor with Blackthorn too. I feel like there's no better ending, I feel like, to his story. I can't imagine it continues on past that, so I feel like we're gonna get our I should have gotten more potions, y'all. Oh no. I don't even know if I've ever been here. Now that I think about it, oh, here it goes. Carrot, <laughs> rank B. Only 20 renown, but 10,000. <laughs> okay, Carrot, but can you just wait for one second before you hit me with your bad breath? Hold on, abilities? 4,500, guys. We're doing it, we're unable while in combat. Okay, that's fair. I deserve that, ow. Ow. Right then. Oh my goodness. His name is Carrot. They call him Team. Wild Rage, get back, get back, get back. Right here he comes. Stay away from him. Stay away, stay away. Oh gosh. That looked like it hurt. He like face plants. Can I freeze him? I can freeze an entire marble. He doesn't stay frozen for long enough. Ow. There we go, staggered. That was insane. Alright, let's hit him with that and then hit him with Flames of Reaper. Get some health back here. 
carrot stick. We're gonna need at least another two staggerings to get him up down. He's throwing a hissy fit. Oh no! Vero! Goodness, that was scary. Okay, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. What is he doing? File. He's biling. Tree's coming up. Ooh, wild rage. All right, get away. Get away, get away, get away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Oh my gosh. That was risky. That was so risky. I don't know if I should have done that. This better be worth it. I'm gonna take a potion. I'm gonna have to keep taking potions. Let me break it again. I'm not gonna do enough damage, but that's all right. We don't need to. Just hit him a bunch of times. You know what, though? I mean, doing this to like get away, right? So you like go in, and then you back away so you don't get hit by something. Smart. So so smart. Oh, he's popping back up. Acid rain! Some stay dry and others feel the pain. I don't know where he went. Oh! Okay. And he's doing his little hissy fit. Nice. We'll do Garuda to bring him down as soon as we can. Garuda, nice. Bring him down. Hit him with the Thunderbolt. Thunder. And then we'll go back and hit him with Shiva's ability right after. Nice. We're just in a constant rotation of ultimates. Nice, nice. All right, limit break. He was little tentacles. Notorious Mark slain. Da, na, na, na. 10K. And what? We have three songs? Was it three songs left? A Morble Tendril. Ugh. I think we've had those kind of. Morble Flower. It's said that the Morble only blooms once every 30 summers. And when does the resulting flower emit such a, a noxious odor that flies, beetles, vultures, and other cravers of carrion are dra drawn from leagues around for the stench? By the stench. The resultant convergence seems to flower pollinated with the Morble devouring those late to the festivities. Obtained by defeating carrot. Ugh. Oh, oh. It's definitely anything but ordinary. Now, it's the tongue for let's me. Let's get this vine back to the yard. The vine. I guess I did pick it up, basically. All right, to the hideaway. Complete those two missions, and then we're skedaddling off to Ash. Unless there's more missions that pop up. <laughs> Which there probably will be. I at least want to do the one after talking to Vivian. I'd love to get that finished. I think they're both over here. I'm gonna go to the far side first. Yeah, we'll go far first. Turn in the please there. Can I have some more? Oh, don't tell me we've run out of pepio nuts and all. Pepio nuts. Oh, I forgot we collected some pepio nuts. Forgot about that mission. Man, the only thing that sucks about this mission is how far you have to go to get to him. It's like all the way in the depths. It's about as far away as you can get. Oh, he's standing out though. I hope he knows what he's doing. Nigel. Uh, Sid, I, uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. I wonder why. The Morble Tendril. Here. Yeah. It's your problem now. <laughs> is it still, like, moving specimen. around? The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, 
When? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards. That I mentality. The results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Huzzah. Oh. Oh yeah, he'll give us something extra too. Uh, is it more potent potions? Don't they do better for us? I think they like heal us even more. Maybe is that what it is? I would be here every day, so it'd be my just happy as place. I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil, how they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say, such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. Wow. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? Yes. I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? Yes. Its doubled. potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Ah. This will help so many people. Look at the butterflies in the back. I forgot how much they give you additional stuff by doing some of these main mission, some of these like main side missions, you know? 45 renown from that. All right, invigorated Morgan bead ex extract. Necessary for further increasing consumable potency. If adding the extract of Morgan, Morgan bead petals to curative or performing enhancing potions, it increases their potency and it should show us right now. Yep, consumable potency maximized. I believe that's it too. I think that says, Maximized as we can get. Both potions and high potions now restore even more HP and strengthen stone skins last even longer. I think I should get some of those for upcoming battles just to try them out because I keep seeing you guys say it in the comments. With two Ds. I don't know why I got that though. With two Ds. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we do have some missives as well. So we'll just make sure. Also, I have not forgotten that we did not finish all of our readings with um, my dear my dear tome so we'll go there at the end of this episode black thorn plus we'll have even more readings to do ah the man himself see the weapon we were just about to make a start on that sword i promised you it's funny but none of this would have been possible without your help maybe it's not an actual like usable blade but remember it's remember camille we'll be using his level work oh, for yeah. the grip the steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire, burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. <laughs> and that wet stone from the outer isles, mm -hmm. that'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will, will be, be my talented colleagues engraving. This is so cool to see all of the fruits of our labor. The greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? <laughs> right. I'm ready if you are. Let's see this. To the bellows it is then. To the bellows. I bet this is more of like a commemorative blade and not one that you actually wield. Well, I don't know, because the potions and everything were applicable, so I... Maybe. I thought there was going to be some epic music well, that came out. me. <laughs> we actually did it. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Wow. It's actually like red. A sword to end all swords. Ragnarok? Ragnarok. That is such a perfect That's name. Quite something. I couldn't imagine fighting yeah. Odin without this. Trust you'll take good care of it. Clever writers. Okay. Clever writers. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. Mm -hmm. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. What? Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there. What? We could craft something even Another quest? Than the Another world. quest? Another one? Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. I know you One were. Legend at a time, eh, lads? I know. Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. Oh, no Blackthorn was quick to that. It's about time I had something to celebrate. 
Then tap the kegs. Vulcan's boys are on their way. That's actually really sweet. I mean, all the quests are feel good, but I actually really like that with Dravid. It has a cool story. Because in a lot of ways, it's telling you, you know, I mean, the story of Dravid as a town as well. Goddard Demerung? I'm so screwing that name up. And we got Ragnarok. Oh! Ancient Ashen legend purports that one day, the Age of Dominance will draw to a close in an epic clash of icons that sets the land ablaze, cleansing it of foulness and allowing for its rebirth, a clash they call Ragnarok. You know, there's probably so many people that don't do all the side missions and they miss out on getting Ragnarok. Can you imagine? The Guter Demerung? <laughs> the blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I liked that mission because, you know, he wants quality and then the town had turned into just churning and burning out stuff for profit and, and they realized that that wasn't fulfilling, you know? I really liked that. I loved that. Are we done with this? I never fought me in Zolta and would ever speak again, let alone work together. <laughs> if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. You've been a good friend of me, Clive. The scraping on my ear right now? The best. Ask about the Enterprise? Yeah. The blighted thing float did it? The way of all that shit. Mid had me knock out. I thought it'd sink straight to the bottom. Always the way with Mid's inventions though, isn't it? I gotta I gotta get out of this menu. You ain't got a clue what the hell you're looking at when she hands you the designs, but they all work the same. On one. A right boil on the arse sometimes, but clever all the same. Alright, let's use the so forge and see what be. other good stuff. Ice brand, but is that better than what we have right now? I don't think I'm wielding the one we have right now. Room belt, I think is the best right now. Diamond, unless one of these is better. Like suns, this would be better, but we don't have a stained loincloth. Oh, that's gonna be from a kill. And this would be from a stone tongue, also a kill. Interesting, okay, I wanna get yellow level stuff going into the next fight, you know? And? Uh, let me go to items. Across the narrow, just around the river bend. Uh, attributes, gear, here we go. All right, am I wielding it right now? I'm not, I'm doing room blade. Look at that, 30 increase, hell yeah. Okay, that is so worth it. Is this the best I have? Yeah, the regal. Oops. Oh, and then I have a new, I have so many of these and I know I haven't been using them, I know. You guys have been giving me crap for it, I know. Earthen Fury. Though, there is one that I'd like to apply now that I'm using, I will say that the thing with Flames of Rebirth is it just takes forever to do a cooldown. So I'm kind of tempted to switch on maybe one of hers. Like one of, do we have anything else by her? No, we don't. We only have, let me scroll up. I think we only have this one, Breath of Ice. Do, am I using Ice Age? Which one is Ice Age? Cold Snap. Diamond Dust is the ultimate. Ice Age. I'm not using Ice Age, so that's not even worth it. Okay, let's go ahead and maximize Cold Snap. And then Mesmerize is not mastered, but we could master it. So long run, right? My favorite skills to use right now are the dashing that this gives, but I don't feel like I need to Phoenix Shift as much as I once did because I have Berserker. So realistically, the only thing that I'm really using that I love from Phoenix is in fact Flames of Rebirth. That's not even upgraded or mastered, by the way, which would probably help with the cooldown. No, increases numbers of hits with upgrade. Garuda, I just specifically like her Deadly Embrace. I'm not a big fan of the scritchy scratches. I know it does shred the bar. Wicked Wheel, I never cared for. I know you guys want me to try Aerial Blast. I know. I know you guys do. It just looks like a lot of chaos. I might just get it towards the end just to appease y'all. So I definitely want to stick with Garuda's this ability. I love that extra kind of adding insult to injury with the like pulling down. Uh, Blind Justice I never cared for. I love Thunderstorm. I feel like it's a massive pump of damage, but it is only single use unless you can gather two of them up in the fury of it. Judgment Bolt is one of my favorites. I think it does some of just insane damage to a single target. Again, single target. This. 
Earth and Fury is specifically towards creatures in front of you. That's the only thing that I don't love, and that's why I never even picked it up. Is as cool as it was. Same thing with these. You have to almost wait to get the wind up, but you do a massive amount of damage. I do, however, love Titan Block, but I just don't feel like I need to be blocking all the time. So Titans kind of fall into the wayside. Our dear Bahamut. Wings of Light is so difficult. It depends on the creature. It depends on the character. It's not the worst one, but it's just not taking priority. Flame Breath, I didn't really care for. Impulse, I liked, but I feel like there's some moves that just apply more damage. Satellite, we haven't tried yet, so we could do Satellite for 100 and maybe just try it. The Giga Flare. This is massive energy beam, and it burns any enemy it hits. So I do believe that I could just like rotate that, so I think we should save up and get the Giga Flare. I think that'd be kind of cool. And then I'd love to save up for Diamond Dust because it increases the number of Ice Blasts to two. I just think Shiva's amazing. Maybe I should switch and try Ice Age. Yeah, and I love Cold Snap, so I feel like we're gonna stick with that. I think I'm gonna switch up the Phoenix. I think I'm gonna switch it up and we're gonna put back on I just love the Phoenix. Oh, but I can't do Flames of Rebirth. Let me wait to get another ultimate before I switch, actually. Yeah, let me wait to get one more ultimate. Probably Giga Flare. Yeah, because otherwise I won't be able to apply it. You know what I mean? It will be a little waste. Or I could do Aerial Blast. Or I can just try to master Flames of Rebirth. Okay. All right, onward. Let's go look at my missives. Look at our missives. How many? I mean, like, there's got to be a lot of side quests. Because look at this. Oh, I did get something new. Oh, I think it's from what's her name? Yeah. We still have so many of these, which means there's still a lot of side quests. Crimson Caravan signboard. Yes, that's what we got. So we haven't gotten anything from Blackthorn, which is interesting. I guess I thought there would be something. The Telamon Maid. Thanks again for helping get the dungeon in order. Had you not rode gallantly to our rescue, I reckon poor Owain, I'm not saying it right, and them lot would still be stuck stealing blight water over a bonner. There's always room for improvement though, so don't get your knickers in a knot should I come at a knock in at your chamber door looking for more spheres and ash and whatnot. That means we have more stuff with mid. In loss, there will be found. It is hard to believe Theo's gone. Oh, that was so hard. Every morning I wake, I expect him to be there in the stables, watering the birds and readying the packs. Yet he is not, and it is everything I can do not to fall to my knees and weep. Still I know I have to move on, but that doesn't mean I have to forget. My brother and I have all- My brother and I build all we have here together. So as long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me, and I shall honor him in death by carrying on what he strove for in life. That is what I choose. Eloise. <sighs> okay. Let's go talk to Vivian. Do I not have anything new? Let me see what my next patron is. I think it's going to be a while. Come back. I could try to... Oh, let me buy potions from Karen. Hold on. I feel like it's gonna take a while before I actually can do that quest. Don't tell me we've run out of Ah, it's a dangerous Why? world out there. <laughs> yes. Alright, let's go ahead and buy. Well, first of all, let me just sell the thing. Wait. Night terrors. Wait a minute, it says I own it, but she could still let me buy it. You can buy extra. I don't trust it. Alright, now we can hold eight, you guys. It'd better That's all be a uh... It's gonna cost a lot. Me blind, you know. Twenty thousand strength tonics I'll get. We'll It'd finally have strength here, tonics. Yeah. Stone skin I'll tonics. Find a better price than that. I'm gonna hold off. I know I see the last elixir. Ponkeo automatically restores all HP, fills limit gauge, and increases attack power by ten percent. Wait for twenty thousand. Let's do it because I know you guys it's want me to try blind, out everything. You know. I know. Plus, we can save that for the perfect moment against Odin. That's pretty cool. It's like a last win. You know what? That reminds me exactly of God of War, the, the rune. Yeah. All right, to Vivian Ninetales. We can do, wait, there's more? 
You got new missions? Koopo? Koopo? Let me see. There's- there are- there's two more. But that's okay, we'll go- we'll go do these later. And we still have to do the dragon. I still say it were a compliment. Say it all you like. What's going on? Ah, Clive. I was wondering oh, main when you arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. <laughs> I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? Funny. Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that <laughs> easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. But it's why you're the best. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then mm. tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. <laughs> All right. Here we go, here All we go, right. here we go. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. So we don't understand. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843. And that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years Doesn't later. Doesn't look like he's aged a bit. Quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. Mm. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray. A bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud Still, yeah. remains unclear. Distraction? Regardless. If the order to attack truly Chaos. came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult yeah. alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight. Mm -hmm. And what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. Very true. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. Hmm. I wonder who. You see, Clive. You had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mid? Okay. Fix you up from it, didn't I? Yeah. Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Plus, she can just drop us off. We'll Lost swim it. in. Swim in. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence <laughs> might earn me. Probably more visits. It's true. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. Yeah, I do just want to real quick, I want to pause and just say that it is so cool to have your interactions with Vivian because she really isn't giving a whole lot of like 
new information. She just is framing it to be more digestible and giving that like top down viewpoint. Whereas like we're in the fray, we're fighting these individual fights and like she's getting that overall battle space picture, which I think that's what kind of helps her be able to take the whisperings of things and everything and then put it into this digestible like battle situation. Like it's a very good sit rep. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. I'm sure we're not going to go straight into it, so we might have opportunity. Let's see. Hold on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on her stuff. Life. Ask about the... I never asked her about the skies. It is not merely the men and women of Valisthea who have been affected by the imbalance in the ether. These blackened skies have cast a pall over all creatures on the and realm. And how could it not? They are living beings, just as we are. Alas, their instinct drives them to flee from that which they cannot escape, ushering them only to madness and death. But are we any better? We consider ourselves above such base instincts. And yet fear and bewilderment drive us to make war on our fellow man. I turn our ire at our own suffering upon those who suffer just as keenly as we do. If that is what it means to be human, Clive, I wonder if we are even worth saving at all. Don't speak like that, Vivian. I cannot claim. To not have been shocked to learn the twin side's destruction. Indeed, I have long known that such a fate was all but guaranteed. A piece of parchment was all that ever stood between the Dominion and Chaos, and those who signed the treaty were only going to abide by it as long as it suited them. Emperor Sylvester's invasion saw it torn to shreds at last, and as the pieces scattered to the winds, long festering enmities came to the fore once more. Such are the wages of greed and distrust. If those in power pay heed to their whispers, they are like to grow into a mighty storm, one which the walls of even the stoutest citadel might not withstand. Ironic, then, that it should be Prince Dion, the boldest and most trustworthy player in this ignoble game, who should deal with the finishing blow. All right, let me view the state of realms. How may I help you today? Grand cast. All right, not too, too many dead people. And then one must situation. understand one's place in the world. All right, so we're going to go to the Shadow Coast. Ooh, very good. Now, that is no longer not. Oh, whoa, we just got two new missions. No more alliance reports, but that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on these two as well. So before we head to Across the Narrows, I just, I saw that locked out for so long, so I want to make sure that I get those done before they truly do get locked out to me. How, where are we at with patron status? Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. 1965. Ooh. Three more, you guys. Come again. So I we're trying to for aim you. for almost 3,000. Yeah, I'm gonna go do stuff for Taria. I love her so much. What's this one? Oh, is that one for my brother? No, that's for Yote. Please. Yote. My, my Lord Marquis. Ask about... Ask it all. Oh. Your companions are kind indeed. Everyone has been most welcoming. Lady Tarya has been especially gracious. Though I know something of the medicinal arts, it is hardly enough to warrant the acclaim of one so skillful. I must admit. At first, I doubted that her praise was sincere. We undying are trained in what few simple skills might serve us in the field, but there is certainly no praise for those who excel in such but endeavors. I see now. This is your way. You encourage each other, that each might lend their strength to the cause, no matter how seemingly slight their contribution. It was the greatest honor of my life to be appointed protector to his grace. I have served him in that capacity since he first began his journey across Valisthea, the purpose of which was twofold, to further the Undying's knowledge of Ultima and to further his grace's knowledge of you, my lord. After he learned of your survival, your brother insisted that we try to trace your movements. Thanks to the investigations of my fellow acolytes, we learned of your having taken the name of Sid. But now? Our journey together is at an end. His grace bids me remain here and protect those you and he hold dear. So I bid you. My lord, if I might be so bold, please look after him in my stead. 
I mean, he's my brother, of course. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. Mm -hmm. His condition continues to worsen. Maybe there's Though something he does his medicinal? Best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. Mm -hmm. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. Joshua can't die. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Of course. Phoenix, heal thyself. I love the name of the quest. Anything. Yeah, no, this is good. Thank you, my lord. We need to do this so, mission. What is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonewort. Stonewort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor mm. it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more Ooh, ether okay. has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... It doesn't impact... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Mm. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Even in large quantities, Stone it doesn't. Wart is easily identified by its blood red blooms. Search around the aqueduct. The and aqueduct. You're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Easy enough. All right, we'll prioritize this quest. We'll go find out what the other quest is, and then we'll skedaddle to kill Odin. Oh. Expiring patient. It'll all be over soon. Oh. She Roger. Can't pick this up. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's mm. happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her <laughs> chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. He should know better than me that I can't tell her what to do. There's nothing. Nobody can tell that woman what to do. No better than to order Taya to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm not going to prioritize this one, but we need to go switch the look of my weapon so I can be wielding Ragnarok. Because right now I still have the look of this one. Tarya. Well, Tarya, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. Mm. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will yeah. when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. Her eyes are like red. Much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, 
We've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. The tears. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's Wait. the only thing strong enough. Have we gotten this before? Tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Tears. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I, I will. Mm. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Perfect, so we just, just need to gather the need. ingredients. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norland, <laughs> near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients oh. are ready before you return. Why is it always spiders? The Thank name you, Clive. Gone. I won't forget this. Man. You know, with the stone skin curse too, like, I mean, I mean, I guess to your, like you, how, what happens? Cause wouldn't you die of like thirst and hunger as well? Because you couldn't consume. There's no way you could consume water if you were thirsty because there's like, you would a hundred percent, like you can't pee, right? Like nothing, you can't, anything that goes in your body, you can't expel, right? I don't know. That's a miserable. I'm assuming by the time it catches hold at that point to any major portion of your body besides a a limb, it probably is at the point where you're going to die anyway. Foster. He's the first time. I mean, we've seen a lot that have been impacted heavily by it, but that is really difficult to see him just sitting there in like a depending on how you freeze up, too. I'd want to at least go out in a killer pose. Up and over. I would love to see one day we finish this aqueduct. Like that would really show that Rosaria is back to its former glory. But Here's that's light pending, you know. Now to find our stone wart. You mentioned blood red petals. Blood red petals. I see an Akashic. That's my luck. I won't be picking anything till they're gone. All right, hold on. There's only one thing for it. Do this. I can't wait to upgrade that ability too. Alright, let's hit this. Kill these little guys first, then kill that guy. Nice. Oh, major damage. Staggered. It's frozen. Oh. I think we can kill him in a staggered state, maybe. If I can apply enough damage? No, he's coming out of it. Big swing. Oh, he stepped into it. Oh, oh, he's out of it. He's out of it. He's out of it. He's out of it. Oh, out of it. Whoa, wait, he's like... Very strongly frozen right there. What? Have we ever seen that before? Where he stays frozen that long? Oh, I need to read up on that because I think that's not all the time. I think that's just like a every once in a while phase. Yeah, that. Oh, it's when you evade permafrost. Upon a successful dodge using it, you get to. Oh. Oh. I bet you you've had that the whole time. Or did I get permafrost when I upgraded it? Oh, nice. I've never been here. Yeah, I almost think that we get it whenever you... Wait a minute. That is supposed to be here. Yeah, I reckon you get it when you... Where are these petals? Okay. When you evade at the certain moment, but I think that has to be upon upgrading it. Maybe I had it the whole time. I feel like I would have here seen it, it before. Better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive. I feel like if we're gonna have permafrost, then maybe we don't need to have Berserker anymore. Because I feel like it's um almost better than it. Berserker. 
Let's get these back to Yote. I mean, they're just serving different purposes, though, at the same time. You know, like, one is... Yeah, I mean, one is really... Oh, it is deep in the woods. I think, actually, Nor Novant would be better because this I would have to traverse Lost Wing. So I'm going to actually fast travel up here. Um... Yeah, I mean, that one is rewarding you by keeping them frozen, but Berserker gets you back in the fight and also throws you out of it, and I don't know. I like them kind of both. Maybe they can work in tandem. How do I get out? There we go. All right, up and over. I swore to protect <gasps> this town and the people I love. I don't Philippi. need a uniform to do that. That is so true. I can't wait to see the uh, progress on on Northreach. I am actually eagerly awaiting the next part of the side quest on that one. A silver lobo. The wardens. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna run straight into a tree. Am I even headed the right direction to go down this way? <laughs> Where's my path? Is it right here? Yeah. It's hard to see the path in this game. Fly, Ambrosia. Okay, avoid the bombs, avoid the bombs. Oh my, oh, I'm stuck on a bush. <laughs> Damn it. Spiders, 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 spiders. Spiders. What do we think that legend is spiders would be the size of curls? Uh, yeah. Ugh. They're horrifying, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. No! On the bright side, they've all been killed. Oh, we'll probably get reinforcements. Spider reinforcements! I want to try to get- oh my gosh, I hate them. I hate the look of it. No, I hate it. I hate it. Blah. All right, those are two really quick and easy quests, so let's get that back. The spider eye. The creature from whom this orb was plucked is the order commonly known as the weeping widows, when in, oh, whose venom is produced not in the salivary gland, but in the tear duct. They are wont to spin their webs in shaded bowers or roofs of dark caverns and rain their paralytic tears upon any animal unlucky enough to pass beneath them. The prey, once rendered immobile, is bound in gossamer silk for later consumption. I... <sighs> Was getting. Hopefully, one will be enough. I was getting my spooky, so I'm doing this like fun. You'll probably, um, I'm doing this fun like pumpkin painting, like girls' night at my house. So I was pulling out my October like Halloween decorations, and there were massive. There were like multiple, uh, jumping spiders, wolf spiders, underneath the box. I mean, and thankfully they were dead, but. Oh. Covered in nicks and I hate. Jumping spiders are terrifying too. Like, I know they always say that spiders are more scared of you than you are of them. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Isn't it funny that such a small creature can strike so much fear into humans? Let's go return this one first. Okay. This guy's dying. I should Thank focus on him. <laughs> Toya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? The spider ooh. Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Talia's right. Sometimes it's like all we can do. Painless death. A single death. dose dulls even the most agonizing pain, and all other sensation with it. Oh. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. But it's a gentle death. I wish there was another way. But there's not. So there's a gentle death. <laughs> I think he needs to get over understanding. I mean, like, no, he needs to have those bedside manners, but he needs to get over thinking that it's possible to save everyone. It's just How are you feeling? Light, mid here. <laughs> Drifting on waves. Oh, Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. 
I'm so proud of you. It's not her father, is it? I'm so proud of you. He's gone. Oh. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? Oh, see that he's properly laid to rest. I imagine she'd want to see to that, too. The man you helped today was my mentor. Oh, okay. Back in the Southern Isles. On the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. To treat the wounded with my gift. Mm. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears yeah. of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. Mm. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Mm. Something needs to change, and we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. Yeah. I hope so. Oh. I'm glad that we got some more with Taria. Because I told you guys, like, I feel like she's one of the most underrated characters. Like, she needs more screen time. 1925. It won't be enough to get us over unless I went and did some of the hunt boards. But I'm just going to turn in the quest for... For our dear brother, and then we're gonna get started main mission. I say that as like more and more pop up, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, we need to go talk to Tomes. Oh, what does he say? If bearers were truly free, we wouldn't need to make decisions like these. Mm -hmm. All right, I got it for you, Yote. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Plenty. Oh, and change the weapon. Change the weapon. I gotta remember to change the weapon. Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. A hand on that. You and his grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others. Mm. Never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so, but I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. Woo! I actually thought we'd get to see something with Joshua there, but that works. Dang, we're almost, we're so close to our next patron, but... It's okay. It'll still be there when we're done. All right, so at this time, let me pop over here. Yeah, I think this will be good. Auto. You, you just ask. No. We might not have your resources, but resourcefulness we've got in spades. That is very true. How do you split the sea, you reckon? Having an insane weapon? Are you kidding me? I can tell you exactly how you split the sea. I'll never unsee that. That was such an epic moment. So well done. All right, so let's change our weapon real quick and head back to see Tomes. Tommy, dearest. <sighs> Blinded every time. I guess let me. I don't want to click into it though. Exit. I will click into that towards the end, y'all. Yes, Embrevja. Do we go with a different Clyde? All right, weapon. Where is my... 
Oh, the room blade looked sick. Diamond sword was cool too. I guess I missed, I've been missing how they look. The grindstone. I don't know. He was talking about like he hasn't done elegant works of art. Are you kidding me? Half of these that we've seen are beautiful. The Ragnarok. Actually, it's not as visually appealing as I thought it was when we saw it. I think it's because I thought it looked more like this. I like the grindstone. Are you kidding me? The Brightburn. Invictus. Huh. See, I think this should have been Ragnarok. But I'll keep it because we're going into that section. Just looks kind of drab, you know? Like, I loved the green. Added a bit of pop. But for the sake of the game. Okay, let me step out for a second and then I'll be back and we'll do main mission, guys. Joshua, let's go to the what is it? The narrow? I have no to ash. To assume otherwise. Well. Clive, you Oh, must I never noticed this. his patch hat. Rosman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, hmm. however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all Wait, we see. Wait, another side quest? Master Clive, have you <laughs> ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, few have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. Hmm. And though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, Hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. Right. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. On and ash. So, you see now. Why I must accompany you to Walud. I really need him it to relax. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. Moss the Chronicle. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. Look his little patch hat. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. <laughs> I shall guard it with my life. Joshua. If you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Yeah. Right away. Join me. All right. Let's go do it. Should be the very end. Or the very beginning. But is the ship ready again? I don't know if the ship's ready. Look at the, look at the, um, the breads made it all the way here. The Dalmechia bread. The stone. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details. Only the important ones. If we attempt to approach stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. Hmm. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention, as well as slow our march and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And no, Joe. Uh -huh. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? <laughs> you bet your ass I do. <laughs> Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like... Yeah. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. Mm. If you sense any merchant danger colors, at all, that's smart. you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. Oh, uh, yeah. The ship right. ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. 
you're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. She's still a skilled we'll be swordsman. Needing passage home, after all. But brother's trip. Well. Brother's trip. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. What's up? Oh my goodness! I need to watch scary movie with Halloween coming up, Let you me guys. Know when you leave. Spooky season. One word before you go. Of course. Oh no. Roy Tio, do not tell me. Okay, I was like, nothing better pop up on the map. Nothing. I love how we just were talking to him and now he's like, oh, Joshua. I am certain we will find what we seek in Ash and learn the truth of Ultima's origins. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be more gods than just Ultima. Yeah, this how is the only part that annoys so me with the game is it's like, you were standing right there just talking to me in the same scene. Don't make me have to run all the way over here. Good morning. Is something wrong? Not at all. Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. That was it? Literally, that was all we went... <laughs> such a filler. I'm sorry, but that feels like such a filler. There are some parts to me that are like... Carrying as it may be. All right, ready? The Shadow Coast. The land long having fallen victim to the spreading blight, now even the most meager of scrub struggles to draw life from the ether-drained cliffs that loom above the barren coastline. I think it was coastline. I'm guessing it was coastline. New area, Western Ash. That's true. You never know what it's going to look like. Ooh. The Shadow Coast. This reminds me of that scene where Brienne of Tarth and who were fighting. What's his name we're fighting. Forget who his name was. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. Mm -hmm. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. What new creatures will we see? Also, wait, we need to keep up with the active time lore. Stone here. Stone here. Capital of the Kingdom of Walud, located on the coast of Frigg's Calm, Ash's northernmost bay. Its mother crystal, Drake Spine, sits just offshore and is connected to the city proper via a massive span that legends say required a hundred years and an entire mountain's worth of stone to construct. Dang, Gav is running off to it. Clive. Mm hmm? There's something I've been meaning to ask. Hmm. You took her icon, didn't you? She offered it. Yes, I did. She understood. What? Joshua? Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. She offered. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, mm. not yours. I can see his point, though. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Mm. Will save us all? I do. I think also it would make her less of a target to... Um, and so be it. I feel like if she kept her gift, Just she would... Just don't forget. You're not alone. Yeah. 
I can almost see like uh, real quick. I can almost see like both sides. Like I feel like on one point you have she if she kept her icon, I think it would help make sure that we're not mythos, right? Like it would help to ensure that we don't have this perfect specimen of like the combination of all the icons, right? But then I think that Ultima would use her or kill her in a way for us to get the power. So by her giving it to us, it kind of reduced her risk, I think, in this entire situation. <sighs> I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? The scowls on her face. <laughs> what was that expression? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. <laughs> Best of brothers, best of men. The kingdom of Walud. What kind of creatures will we find? Footfalls in ash. It's happening! It's happening, y'all. Always wanted to visit Ash. The music. We're in Walud territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Skathfar. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Oh, it shall does. we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Hmm. We shall. The music. Mm. Da -da -da -da. The piano. Oh. I mean, I know it's ashy right now, but it's beautiful. The moss. Somehow the moss just is Number so vibrant in contrast. Welcomes, Gav. Please be a city. Oh, this place is it's as abandoned. dead as Grieger's ghost. Yeah. Oh. It's been long abandoned. Oh gosh. Well, I don't know. The meat it doesn't look like it's gone rancid. Helms to hold the fires. Hmm. This is an orc town. Look at those weapons. Or orcs came through here, perhaps. No, Akashic. I don't think. Yeah, no, those are. Some of those are. Some of those are orcs, right? I knew I smelled something. Those are orcs, yeah. Interesting. I see only orcs and Akashic yeah. here. Let's and we saw the tandem. Ooh. Nice. There's more up top, too. Wait, what's happening? Ah! Oh, nice. We got it. Frostbite? Missy. Strike me. Oh. I need to remember to hit them while they're down. Grab this. Workish something? Mesmerizer. I cannot freeze him. There we go. Perfect. Wow, I mean, it looked like it was a beautiful town when people inhabited it. But yeah, these... These helms and stuff, they must have killed them, unless that's just the decorations here. I mean, but they're hanging all over. And the bones, like, I feel like the orcs have been here for a long time. Unless that's just the culture here. I mean, look, as somebody who's been building a home in the forest, I know all about making bone chandeliers. It makes for a great decor. I understand. Make sure there's no more loot. What is this? I don't know, y'all. That doesn't look like... I don't know. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. More fodder. Oh, I didn't realize I could take all of them with me. I didn't think it was gonna pick them all up. 
go. Shiva! He does a great job at like calling out all the icons. So well. Zoom. I want to get another frostbite. Strike me! Gav getting in the fights too? I love it. Look at the pots, the shutters, the stone. How long do you think it takes to make one of these? Not in game, but like in, if you were living back then, how long do you reckon it takes you to build it? You think a couple months, a year? Wait, we've been there. I mean, the roof alone, it's a lot of stone, but I guess if you're, well, maybe a couple months. More orcs. Is there anything this way? They haven't noticed us yet. Ooh. Watch out, everybody. How are the orcs gonna fit in these homes? I feel like they're massive. Dodge that, dodge that. Ow. Ow. I will cast this in the middle. Alright, get some electricity in here. Shiva. I love seeing them frozen. Ooh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There we go. Alright, broke through. Nice. Ignition's not the worst in the world. I think I didn't give it a fair enough chance. Like, the more that I use it, the more I enjoy it, you know? Joshua's putting in more. Do not touch Torgo like that. You say slay, brother. Slay, Clive. Everything seems so drab here. Like, it just feels void of color. Which I think is the intention. It's all these crimson colors and browns and green. Very little green. Hmm, nothing? Wait, there's something up here, but if I had to guess, this is probably a... I don't know, I'd assume a, um, a hunt, but you can't stumble upon it until you actually receive it, I think, so I don't think this matters. Yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait. They have a cave troll. <laughs> I, is that... Did I stumble into a hunt board? I did, I did, I did. Pandemonium. Oh my goodness. Cue the NF song. Okay. We <laughs> At least I have three people. Look. It's the king of the castle. The king! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Shiva. We do have our better weapon, I will say, on the bright side. Woo! Ow. Bring him down. Ah! Nice, get him there. The root of him. Uh, yeah. I love how it's saying boss, as if I'm not tracking. Parried. Bring down. Nice. Let's do this. Let's do a potion. Let's do a strength tonic. I need to see my difference without. Oh my god. Nice. Alright, do electricity. All right, pandemonium's not so bad. Staggered, limit break. Get in there. We have our strength tonic on. I don't know how long it lasts for. Can I see the duration of it? Nice. Holy cow. Right? 
aiming right. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Nice, get back in there. No, I'm getting smacked. I evaded it. Nice. I have no idea how I successfully evaded that. I don't know what that is, but I don't like that. Don't like that! Fuck. Oh. My gosh. Get away, get away, get away. I need to start using Shiva, like, to try to evade that. Run away. Ah. I'm so terrified. All right, let's go deadly embrace after this because he's gonna crack. Deadly embrace him. We got this though. Strength tonic. He's trying to do it again. I need to be able to break him first. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's multiple. Uh. Oh gosh. Nice. Nice, we evaded it, staggered. Go limit break while we have the strength on it. Uh, flames of rebirth. He's an S tier, guys. I think this will be our first S tier we kill, maybe? Alright. Come on. Just slap him around a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's not staggered anymore. Freeze him. Freeze him again. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. My gosh. Ignition him. Run away! Okay, I think I can kill him with those thunder. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Thunderstorm worked! Woo! Look at the lightning. Oh, holy cow, 20k, you guys. Level up to 50. We have our next patron as well. And now we don't have to come back here for this. Oh, he was the, sto uh, the stained loincloth. That's right. Modesty is not a trait that comes to mind when one thinks of an orc. So it is a mystery why they bother, if they even bother with a loincloth at all. When the thin strips of cloth only afford normal, no, nominal protection and leave not to the imagination. There are some scholars, however, who argue that they are vestiges from when the creatures were more civilized. I'm Your so glad we ran up that. and did that. Oh, Joshua, Gav, guys, get out of him. Y'all? All right, let's go on Chocobo back. Woo, okay. So, I wonder how many more we have, to be honest. Like Maybe three or four more, because we have the dragon that we never did and we have maybe like one or two more but was that on it's so hard to control the chocobo <laughs> was that on our board maybe i don't know maybe it was one of the ones that popped up on our board after we talked to vivian okay open the gate open the gates yeah i would say it's been taken over by orcs for a good while. Nice gate. The stone it all over again. Where the hell are the royalists? Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clive. They must have either been killed or went back to the capital, but that wouldn't make sense. Because isn't there like a quote-unquote alliance between the two? Well, not really. Who knows how... I feel like an alliance with an orc has got to be pretty loose. This is feeling Dark Souls with the like color scheme and everything. Like the lack of it. 
Well... Aye, aye. They have more than a few cave trolls. That's a whole army. Is the whole of Ash fallen into Ultima's hands? Where are they moving out is the more important no question. Delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. Okay. I trust he'll find a way to it. They're sending it to the mainland. Yes. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. Mm. We press on to stone here. I can't wait to see the capital. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth monsters. <sighs> Highly doubtful. We should be fast traveling, I assume. Clive. Uh -huh. You must go on ahead without me. What? This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate. Perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets. And if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. I don't like splitting up with him. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mm -hmm. Mostly. Mostly. He is pretty nimble, though, so I feel like he can get around like a little sure cat about this. and not be noticed. About leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. Mostly. How can your head be nearly... Oh no, we are continuing Lady on. Lady Vivian's oh. map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. Yeah, but the if I'm angry right, gap. we're not far from a village called Eastla. Eastla. Then we make our way. Eastla. It's got to pop up on the map, right? The Kingdom of Alude. Uh, okay, so we know all this. It is rolled over. We know that. After Ultima brought about primogenesis, uh, Barnabas's combined combined force of Akashic soldiers and beastmen was deployed across Valisthea, tasked with sowing chaos and mayhem. Yeah, like I said, down in, um, down in, oh man, I just blanked on it. But yes, Dalmechia, just to cause chaos. The Royal Knights of Walud. At Ultima's instruction, King Barnabas supplemented his ranks with orcs, creating a hybrid force which he duly dispatched to wreak havoc across Valisthea. After the casting of Primogenesis, however, the better part of the king's army was doomed to end their days as mindless Akashic thralls. Yeah. Resupply and wait for Joshua. And actually wait for him? This is so bleak. I guess we could go Chocobo back, but to be honest, I want to experience this on foot for a little. I feel like I only start to go Chocobo back once. Mud crab. Ugh, this place reeks like a mobile's asshole. No Plus, it's not the smell that will kill us. Plus, I want to still be able to farm up to level 50. I truly think that you can get to level 50. Mudcrab, come here. This thing you can cast all the time. I gotta level up that bad boy. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. So let me go into abilities. Because I'm loving Shiva so much. No, we already did upgrade Mesmerize. The only thing left to do is allow to assignment to any icon. Hmm. Diamond dust we want to upgrade. Ah, we're like 10 points away. We'll fight a couple more things. Boy, do you see loot or something? Why are you barking? Go this direction. So many worms. I don't know if we even wanted to have to deal with them, but I could use the XP, so. Plus, I reckon it'll be pretty quick and easy to kill. Mm -hmm. no! Maybe? No! Nice. Ah! Oh! Okay. He's <laughs> I, I, this is going to determine if I want to fight the others because it just takes so long. Like, is it truly worth it? Ooh! Mud crab, random mud crab joined the fight. Frostbite. 
Swoop. Nice. That should be permafrost. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Kill him. Bring him down. I guess it's no different than hitting Garudas at the right moment, too. Oh, he's still hit me. There we go, permafrost. Yeah, just like a well-placed evasion. This doesn't kill him. Nice. Okay, how many? Wait, I don't know, guys. That was 124 ability points. That's a lot. Like, for each worm? That's a lot of ability points. Diamond dust upgrade. So we could master it, but that doesn't matter because I need to figure out what I want to apply with this. Right now we have these two moves. So it's only a matter of time before I master this. I know I can reset these, by the way. Oh, unlock Titan Lock. 800 points will be refunded. I now see what you guys have. Okay, y'all have been trying to tell me this for a while. I even had somebody come into stream and try to tell me as well. And I, I guess I was thinking all of them. I'm, yeah. <laughs> so I think with Garuda, we should reset because I'm not going to use her abilities. Not that it's worth that much, but let's master Deadly Embrace. Because mastering that increases claw range. So I got a little, uh, I guess I didn't get any ability points back, to be fair. I feel like I should just, wait, do you only get back a portion though? That's the question. Yeah, I think you only get back a small percentage. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to hold over the skill. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've unlocked. Yeah, like Rook's Gambit, I'm not gonna use. Yeah, oh my, I'm sorry, you guys. I wasn't, it was like really hard to, Okay, I have no excuse. Like, Heat Wave I'm not using anymore, right? So I could get 1740 points back. I was... I, I don't want to talk about it. Alright, which one? Limit Break makes sense. Will of the Wikes, like, for example. I can get that back. I do like that one, but I just feel like we might as well get it back for now. And you don't get a reduction in what you get back. Ignition we could level up since I still have it. And I probably will have it for a little bit, you know? Titan stuff, I'm not using any of his, so I'm going to reset upheaval and reset this one unless, well, mm, I didn't even have that one upgraded. None of these were upgraded either, except for wings of light, so I can actually remove that. And that's 750 points back. Oh, all right. I know, I know. You guys are like, Maggie, we've been telling you this for forever. Why are you like this? All right, so that should be maxed. That should be maxed. And that any items, I just want to make sure anything we're using as of right now is maxed. Flames of Rebirth isn't, so let's go ahead and upgrade that because that's going to increase the number of hits. So if I'm going to wield it, also we want to be able to master Flames of Rebirth so that we can apply it to a different icon. Um, and then maybe mix it up a little bit, you know? So I would say we stick with that and keep upgrading. Maybe upgrade Ignition if I'm going to have it for a while. Now that it doesn't cost anything, let's actually go ahead and have that. Yes! And I kind of want to go... Let me do Chocobo. And then we'll get around all this stuff. Because, like, I don't want to fight Let's the go. turtle. I don't want to fight some of this stuff. Foster. Killing one worm was good. And 165 points, it's a lot. Whee! Wow, look at the beautiful water. Okay. Rotate this way. There we go. It's pretty in its own way. Just a lot of creatures. It reminds me of Rosaria's bogs and swamps, you know? Oh, hell no. A blue truffle? No. Nope. nope. Not fighting a blue truffle. The angry gap? Yeah, of course. It's a lot. I have no desire to fight all of these. Loot or no loot. Plus, I'm sure we'll have some things that bring us back over here. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. It looks like there might be an offshoot here. 
But we can always come back, worst case scenario. Oh, this is cool. Oh, how much breath. Uh, you don't look down, Toggle. I looked down. I did it. It's giving me Blight Town feels. I don't think anybody's here at this village anymore. That must be Estla. Hmm. I uh, I don't think anybody's here, or has been here for a while. Nothing on that side. It is pretty with the waterfalls. Like, if you remove the primogenesis, I'm sure it's beautiful. Despite being blight infested. Or no, I thought maybe- I thought this was blight infested land, but I guess not. I gotta look into that more. Nothing's here. Where are all the people? Oh my gosh. Are they all Akashic now? They must be all Akashic. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. What is that? Akashic. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mm -hmm. say nothing. No quarter gap! All right. Let's test out our new stuff. You know what? That is the combo right there. All right, hear me out. You pull them in with her, with the that attack, and then you hit him with the ultimate after, because that attack pulls them in. Oh, so good. Ignition? Leveled up ignition. Oh, leveled up ignition, actually broken. Flames of Rebirth? Why is it taking us so long to level up Flames of Rebirth? You think all the villages in Ash are like this? A question for later, Gap. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I think all the villages are yeah. like this, maybe safe for the capital? Because wouldn't he need some people? Yeah. I feel like you have to keep some people at least, right? <laughs> Like, I feel like you can't just have nobody where you're from. Like, surely he needs supporters. Unless it's literally just him sitting on an empty throne. I mean, do we see Waluder traitors? I feel like we haven't heard about Waluder traitors or anything. And come, and come, and come. <laughs> Enough. Okay. Grab that guy. Grab this guy. Oh! <laughs> that guy. I still see. That's the thing. Is like I still love Phoenix. I do still enjoy it. More enemies. I'm dragon. Dragon. Worm. Nice. I should have saved that for the dragon. I'm using it on one muley man. No. We definitely need to kill this guy. Ow. Nice. I'm getting evasions and not even realizing it. Get ready. Deadly embrace. Down. Ultimate. Flames of rebirth. Upgraded flames of rebirth. Wow, Ignition actually does so much damage now. There's gotta be another big boy or something. No, there's people! Are there people after all? Uh, nope. My optimism. 
Also, what are those shards? And do you see the, like, is that ancient material? The shards sticking up. Okay, don't like this. All right. Permafrost. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. That's a permafrost. Oh, snap. Love that I just got that. Oh, snap. Hit him with this. Nice. Hit him with the knife. Yeah, let me break. Ignition. Hit him with this. Then do this. And then do ultimate. Oh, that's right. When I maximized it, you get two. I didn't do it in time. There we go. Permafrost? Permafrost times four. Let's go for five. Never mind, he's dead. But we've cracked the code. I wonder if the other, yeah, the other ones are better. I mean, they're all rewarded based off of precision evasions. I, I'm, I get that. I mean, his entrance lasted longer than he did. Well. Yeah. Gav. Really holds his own. Gav! What? Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. What are they? Oh, fuck. What? He's here. Have you come to watch, Odin? <laughs> Bound for stone here. Can you give us a ride? Good. My master awaits you in the capital. Though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. We're fighting him. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening! How are you going to stop us? Gav. Why, with this? <sighs> Darkness. Time has come to kick Odin's ass. We have to kill him. What did you do? I have to face change. Even the horse looks terrifying. He's juiced up, man. Look at him. If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made presentable. <sighs> On a platter. Gav. No! He rides on lightning bolts. Look how big the town was, by the way. Uh, Clive? Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? Your guess is better than mine. Are they gonna hit it and we see what happens when they hit it? Poofs. <laughs> Oh, you've got to be. 
How are we supposed to get through that? We're not. We seek an audience with the king. Yep. If Which his means... majesty wants me to come and ask him. And that is exactly what I'll do. It's finally happening, Before it's happening. You go practicing your petition. We don't even know where the fucker went. <laughs> How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Imagine telling Ifrit to cool his head. All right. Oh, really? That actually works? Maybe there's something here we can use. Okay. Search the abandoned village. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess Gav could help us with the fight in some small way, right? No, it says it's in this vicinity. Oh, wants us to go up there. Oh, the obelisk. Yeah. Mm. Lots of stone. I thought we got them all. So did I. Yeah. Any items? I know, I know you're mad at me, but hold on. I smell them. Do you see what I see? I need more strength tonics before this next fight, but I do have five high potions, so I'll take that. What is it? Plus, Gav needs to find a hiding spot before he gets trampled. <gasps> there is somebody alive. Oh my gosh. Turned, all right. Who? Oh, I wonder how many other people are still alive. How many other villagers? Torgal's watching, like it's looking bleak out here. My thanks, kind travelers. The way he's treated his own people. Edda, forgive me for asking, but what went on here? Hmm. It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Arche. Arche? One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. Why is she... By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And... I didn't know what to do. Why was she the only one left? Does she have a dominant in her belly or something? And this, uh, okay, is... Just a story. Something our grandparents told us when we misbehaved. Mm. About how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. Yeah. You said the others went mad. But where did they go? They turned to Kashik? They... They all left. The one east to the tower. To Reverie. The elders... To Reverie? The, keeper, the blacksmith. My husband. Oh, he went mad. You're thinking he did this? Of course. Absolutely. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. 
You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I normally ask people. But maybe, perhaps, could be protecting her from the ether. Mm -hmm. I can't think of any other explanation. That's right. You mean... Oh, a bearer. Bearer? Yeah. It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. That makes exact sense. Yeah, I said dominant, but yeah, it could just be a standard bearer. This tower... That's where we'll find the king. Yeah, I was asking about that earlier, and now I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Wow. What has Joshua found? Joshua can't get inside, guys. It. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. It is. Which means at the end of these stairs should be... Another. Mm. But can I get inside? Will it answer to any dominant? Okay, that's not what I was thinking it was. Oh, wow, that's the mo Oh, it's a complete one. It's a complete one. Well, almost. It's complete? Yeah. Those look like Valkyries, almost. Ultima and his vessel, Ifrit. Ifrit is his vessel? Garuda, Ramu, Shiva. Oh, I see, Titan, I see. Bahamut, Odin. Okay, now I see them. The the Lost is here. Where is the fiend? Oh my gosh. What, what, Joshua? The phoenix, the wings are on him, I think? The phoenix is a part of him? Yes. By the founder. No. <laughs> so that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? I thought I was doing well by locking him in, but I don't think I did. Or he knows that we have to become one? I don't know. I don't know what he wants. Joshua understands, but I still don't understand completely. So well, that's how it's gonna be then. Hold on. Let me see if there was any lore updates. Yeah, there's three. The Archie. The dark, ill-omened skies unleashed when Ultima brought about primogenesis. The word Archie is Arche is used only on Ash, where the coming of the cursed skies has long been foretold as a harbinger of the end of all things. Estilla. A settlement situated in mining country in the center of Walud, the miners made homes among their excavations and lived there with their families. However, with the advent of the Arche, its residents disappeared and now the village is all but deserted. And Ada, Ida, Ida, a young woman with child who made her home in the Waluder village of Ilsta and is now the only surviving member. I'm not asking, Gav. I gotta I go. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. You wouldn't survive to If I don't means. return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? I. <sighs> oh, I'm so nervous. They've done such a build up to this final fight, you don't know? You go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. <laughs> Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <laughs> the last icon. The final icon. 
Alright, so how do I get there? High potion, of course, they're dropping us a high potion. <laughs> of course. Uh, well, I think we have to go up and around. If Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And mm -hmm. so will I. So it's definitely not this way. But that looks like the main way you go. Make for the Revere. I... Okay. No, I... Oh, I see. It is this way. Yeah. So we have to kill all the Akashic along the route to take Barnabas's icon and then take on Ultima. Oh, they have a little catcher for the foot. That's so clever. Fantastic design. I reckon this is a pretty, yeah, insane how big this is. Ready, go. I love flying down. Getting that good, like, air on the way down. Ooh. Trying to find, like, the longest flight. Let me see what that is, because if it's a potion, I could really use it. Four bloody hides, not worth it. I just want to, like, I want to chocobo glide down the whole ravine. Oh, that was pretty close. It's actually pretty close. Did I just miss something? I did, but you can't go there right now. That'll be something for later. Mm. A play. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not today, plague. I've got bigger fish to fry. It's interesting. I guess maybe they just wanted to make it not like a straight corridor. Oh, and it goes off in two different paths. Oh, it's a, a loop piece. Yeah. Plus I can go on foot from here. Huh. An ancient. This is... Adamantite gauntlets? Hold up. Hold up. Uh, what's my ability points at right now? Okay. Items. I need to save up a ton, basically. Clutch mine. Ice shard, we know. Where is it? Oh, I'm sorry. It needs to be in here. Increases maximum HP by 500. What is this right now? Judgment bolt cooldown. By nine seconds. Increases ability points earned in normal encounters by 20%. I feel like we can slow down on this. Yeah. I feel like we've gotten to the point where I'm pretty happy. I mean, yes, I'd like to... Maybe I should wait until I get all of it. I don't know. I think for the upcoming fight, we can turn this on temporarily and then we can always go back. Oh my goodness. In a lot of ways, it reminds me of where we first were. You know, like the, the rocky area that we first were with the Empire. <laughs> yeah, the stairs in FF7 have nothing on this. This is it, boy. This is gonna be like a hour long fight. I wait. Na, 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 na. Oh no, is it telling me to. Oh, okay. Alright, we're fast traveling there. It's like, hey, by the way, if you really wanna go anywhere else and like prep for this fight, like, you might want to. The Revere. Revere. A single stolid spire rising high above the deadlands to pierce the very heavens. Okay, let me get a stretch in before we take on this fight. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna be brutal. This is gonna be something else. The kingdom of Hulud. Sauron's waiting for us. I 
I've come for you, Barnabas. Torgo's like, me too. I like that they showed us that little glimpse at the bottom. Please do not make me have to run up any stairs. Oh, this is what the ancient is built on. Wow. Stay close, Torgo. <laughs> Fight our way up. The last king. The tower. It's alive. It's just a hundred percent filled with ether. This is so cool. Do this. Boom. Yeah. That is strange. I finally have achieved it. Everybody gets killed from my ultimates. I have done it. All right, touch right here. This matches him so well. Like Barnabas has always been wearing like black and gray and then these hints of blue and it's so beautiful. I have to step on these, right? Yeah. <sighs> Bloody fallen. Why do all their floors seem to have a mind of their own? <laughs> like how small I oh <gasps> This elevator, the lights, the glow. It's magnificent. Oh, we've got friends. Cast this. Okay. One left. Oh no, there's, there is a second one. Where is he? Crossbite? Hit this too? Yeah, her moves have the lowest cooldown, I think, when it comes to ultimates. Granted, is it doing as much damage as some of the others? Probably not. Okay, he's exploding, is he not? It's over. Let her things recharge. I mean, I know the ether floods are horrible, but they're really beautiful. Crystal is still not here though. The crystal's still beyond this. This is something different. This is where the ancients are for this particular area. <gasps> Look at this. I feel like this might be one of the most magnificent structures of them. Fallen Guardian. doing enchilada. I know, that's not even close. Oh shoot, his little... Dodge him. Evade him again. Evade him again. Slow him down. Nice. Hit him with the thunderbolt. Thunder. Lightning. Not thunder. Nice, staggered. When they're afraid. This. Boom. Boom. The damage. I need to remember to use my strength tonic during the Barnabas fight. Nice. Mm. 
Brody can hit behind you. Nice. All right, I hardly took damage there. <gasps> wow. This is unreal. This must be the right way. Is Joshua gonna be able to get through? I don't even know if he's gonna... I can picture him coming in and helping with this fight at some point. Yes. Elevator. So cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill Barnabas today. And then... I'm gonna pause. And I gotta stop for today. I'm gonna hold my set. Like, you guys feel like y'all are always getting major uh cliffhangers sometimes i have to stop recording because i have something to like do <laughs> easy enough i feel like i'm not earning this much ap oh you a squiggly squoo oh i hate the squiggles look he's barely taking damage too Clearly. Nice. Nice. Staggered. Luna break. Okay, I take it back. He's taking damage. At least he's got a big mass to be able to do ignition for. <laughs> He doesn't take any damage, as he doesn't get a single hit off because I'm just crushing him. Precision dodge. Okay. These squiggles. Oh, I'm getting hit by that. Oh! Wait, that was kind of cool. That was, no, that wasn't. Nice, uh, yes, deadly embrace. Bring him down. Ignition him. That might be enough to kill him. No. Precision dodge. That was actually a really pretty fight. 350 gil too. I need to figure out exactly how much do we need to level up the ability I want. What am I leveling up? I'm mastering this, right? No, I'm not, because that's not useful at all, because I know I'm always going to keep Shiva. Diamond Dust is mustard, uh, mastered. Oh, Flames of Rebirth. We need to master Flames of Rebirth. 4250? Highway robbery. Another Ice Age? Me something else. Anything else. We need to do something to help us with it. Though, I mean, the ones that I have, we might just not have a cooldown reduction on them because they're already so low, you know? Oh. Uh -huh. Barnabas, where would I be? At the very top. The top. So I could look down on the world. Exactly. Next question. Just cast this. I love and I hate these sections because while well, I understand that it's kind of cool. Like, there is a part of me that's like, oh, it's kind of cool to see just how much he has to traverse and battle through to get to the very top to even, to even have a battle with Barnabas. But at the same time... Mm, it feels a little unnecessary. I mean, we've done this so many times at this point. I would have maybe just done it for this specifically. Like, it can either go one way or the other. It can either build... <sighs> I get it's like a trial, or it's like, um, like an arena. But sometimes it just irritates me. <laughs> it almost starts to have, like, a negative impact. Oh, well.
but we're not going to get these ability points without farming, right? Oi! Kick him. More? I didn't consider that there'd be more in this area. I should have thought about that. Mmm. Wait, that's awesome. Bring him closer. Mm. Feel naked. I don't have any of my abilities. Put him while he's down. That guy's gonna explode here soon. Is he already dead? Whoa. Oh no, he's. Oh no, he is. Yeah. He went all crazy. Come on. 128 for all of those guys. I don't think this is the right way. I got turned around. I need to look for the light. Mm. Our HP is 3,000 HP. I think it's worth it to have that necklace on. I need to see if I should change out my strength tonic or the other one. What is the other one? Strength just makes me beefier, right? Let me see. Hmm. Stone skin. Okay, strength is increases attack power for 72 seconds. Increases defense for 30. Torgo. My wounds, boy. Ah, oh, we're going up another one of these. This has got to be to the very top, right? It's got to be. Here we go. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. He's here. Wait, that's no, that's not him. That's not Steve. A Demogorgon? No, that's his chest. Oh. Okay, that thing looks so cool. What is that? Soul Taker? Well, that's new. That is so new. Wait, maybe we've seen a Soul Taker. Smack it. Smack it. Break down that barrier. Nice. Good evasion. All right, stagger him. Let me break. Hit him with the lightning. Hit him with the flames of rebirth. Hit him with this. Hit him with this. Half HP already. Ooh, sub half HP. If that doesn't showcase how much damage you do when you're limit broken and also doing this, I don't know what does. Whoa. Ooh. He's got stompies. Oh, he can he can guide it other places? Oh, okay. It's mostly like an in front of you kind of thing. Can I bring him down? Gosh, I am just disrespecting this man, honestly. Disrespect. <laughs> she was, I, I would argue that she was one of the best ones. <laughs> For cooldown damage, frozen. It it All right. Immaculate toenails though, he has to be getting them done. They're all like even length. There's no breaks or cuts in them. <sighs> we should be near it. Oh, it used the potion. Okay, I don't think we're even close to the top. Another potion? A high potion. Are you kidding me right now? 
Let me know how you like sections like this. But I also am kind of like that. I love a good streamlined story. I love something that's pretty linear. I do like open world. I just don't like something that feels very... It just all feels the same now, like, no matter what boss. Like, I will say, because of how OP our powers are and stuff, I almost feel like I need to challenge myself by using different icons just so I get the enjoyment out of fighting again. Mesmerize. I have Mesmerize. Mmm. I mean, that is reducing it by 9 seconds, but that's fine. Increases its damage by 10%. Ah, that's not that great. Here we go, another. This should be the last one, right? I've gone up like three at this point. Torgal? Torgal? I've lost Torgal. Oh my gosh, boy, where did you come from? Oh, this is different. Yeah, we're almost at the top. Look, the columns. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I wasn't so bad. What do you smell, boy? What is it? <sighs> of course. Is that a geo? They look like geodes. Come on, then. An another a control node? It's not close enough. I mean it is, but for a second. Claims to rebirth it. We need to use Cold Snap to give us the edge to cast an ability after. You know what I mean? So you like freeze it, cast, freeze, if we can get over to it. Short circuit. Oh. Oh. What the? And then do ignition. Whoa, I went into... I went through him? Let me cast this real quick. Hold on. Deadly embrace him after this because he's going to go down. Nice. Deadly embrace. Press the attack. Press the attack. Press the attack. Okay, that was good. That was good. That was good. I need a potion. He's gonna do it again. I don't have any abilities to like stop him from doing this. I'm gonna try to evade that next time if I can. Here we go. Nice, breaking down his damage again. There we go, raw damage. Boom with the electricity. Nice. Ow. Oh. Hold on, freeze him real quick. Let me see what's going on here. Whoa. Whoa. I like that. Oh, gosh. Ow. Potion again. Ow. Hold on. Get back, get back, get back. Uh -huh. As soon as I get you down, just you wait. I'm going to use my limit break on him. Don't worry. Short circuit again, are you kidding me? Precision dodge. Just walk around until we see another one that's about to hit us. Right there. Precision dodge. Nice. Let's do judgment bolt again. Break his posture bar. Stagger. We should be able to kill him here. That was cool. 
cool. I like the control node. I like how he like separated and then like crunched you. It's a good crunching. Oh, you are you seriously? Are you kidding me? Ornstein and Smo, am I right? What's what more, eh, Toggle? This is just this is just getting exhausting. This is That's not good. That's not good either. Ah uh, yes, let's deplete all of their health right before they're gonna take on one of the hardest bosses. Ow. Let's do this real quick. Eat away at that. That really doesn't kill his dagger bar. Nice precision dodge. He's gonna do a follow up. Oh, I carried it? There's no way. I guess I don't really have anything good, like great, to reduce his golden section. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hit him with this. Use Garuda. Oh, I'm not close enough to him. Oh no. Ow, I'm getting hit by that. Ow. I'm gonna use a high potion. Run away! Run away! Run away! Catch this? Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna just save things until we... Well, let me cast this real quick. And then we'll just save on trying to get his posture down and hopefully have enough to use all of our... Whoa! I'm gonna go through there. Nice precision dodge. Nice. Break down the bar, break down the bar. I don't like that. Nice. Nice. Strike him, we shouldn't get hit by that. Nice. That actually does. Okay, so that move definitely breaks down his, his posture. So I like that. All right, let me try to do this. Nice, staggered limit break. Do this, flames of rebirth. I think we can do this. Maybe. Nice. Ignition. Yeah. Dude, ignition. I was sleeping on ignition. Or I'm giant dismantled. I was definitely sleeping on that. I'll be the first to admit. 30,000. Maybe one day we'll see over 100k. Oh, his knees. That hurt my knees. This isn't fair. Barnabas is getting us at our like worst. Oh, it's raining. I I I can't do this fight. Like we're gonna. I, I <laughs> I'm gonna have to pause right once we get to the top. Hopefully, it gives us a break before between the cutscene and and fighting him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it might. Right, last staircase. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to actually pause here. And I'm gonna have to pick this up myself tomorrow. Almost there. If it lets me. Unless it... Okay, yeah. Alright. Alright, perfect, guys. Y'all will see me tomorrow. Bye! Welcome back. Let's go kill a king. Of course, high potions. Or their floods. Potion? No, magic ash. Where are we at with potions? Okay, we have two strength tonics left, and I'm probably gonna need both of them. He's here. I can feel him. Hmm. 
This has got to be a semi-primed and full icon fight. There's no way that it's just going to be one. And this is like the last icon of the draw. Huh. He thinks so high of himself. I guess we haven't fought in the rain, have we? That's not good. Why? The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Hmm. Watcha. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, mm. they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep, they roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Wow. All that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Alrighty. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. Mm. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? Huh. <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Graphics. Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. He's been around for a long time, yeah. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning. Stepping from the path of shared prosperity to Who's one bumps? of avarice. <laughs> he abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. His voice changed. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's powering up the blade. Shit. <laughs> what madness is this? My worth proven. The Lord charged me thus. Mm. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we mm. only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering, shall I prove my faith once more. Yeah. 
So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? Torgal? What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Mm. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> Crazy laughter. Very well. Come then. Oh! His voice is so... Choose the strength of your will. His voice is so good. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. The strength of Torgal. But the weakness of yours. Oh! Okay. That's gonna piss him off a little bit. Semi-primed? Full primed. He's full primed? No, he's semi-primed. He doesn't have his horse. When he calls the horse, he's primed. If you think your will the stronger, prove it. By uh, this day's end, oh. you shall know. Okay, you know what? I think he actually kind of has a little bit of combinations like his uh, apprentice. Like that other guy. Oh, ow. Is it three? Is that a one or a three? Oh, no. Okay, good damage. Ish. Let me go ahead and cast all of these. Just get some. But I do need to make sure that I'm saving in case he tries to cast that one move again. Remember that we weren't able to. Whoa. What is that? Oh. Ooh, I like that. He's gonna do a follow-up attack. Nice. Do this. Dude, that shreds the bar. Get him down. Nice. He's so beefy. That's the oh my gosh. All right, I need to make sure I hold on to stuff just in case. Is that horrible move? I know I just said that, but I'm panicking. You know I panic talk. I panic talk. I panic talk. Uh, uh. He's doing a follow-up slash. There we have our opening. Run away. Run away. Okay. Cast this. I love the reprieve in the song. He's doing a follow-up slash. I'm gonna take a high potion. I hate that. Staggered. When they break. Do this. Come on. Nice. That was good damage with ignition. He's almost done being staggered. Oh no. Oh no. God chose you to serve as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope when there is none. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. He brought in the horse. He's primed. Desperate, are we? <laughs> oh. Could have faced me like a man. There's no way they're gonna make us fight. Okay, Ebert's out. <laughs> Finally, we can begin. Yeah. Wait, but I can't go up into the sky like that. That's some... 
cheese. I mean, I guess I can, but... Collision Clash. I'm hoping it's this like I think that would elevate this fight if we go back and forth. Now you must follow it. Torgal! Free yourself, Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. We'll see. Oh, I don't like this fighting area. Okay, so you have to get behind him on that. That's good to know. That probably would be an insta-kill if you didn't. And in with this too. Back to that. That's gonna pull him down, I think. Him with this. He's just stuck there. I'm absolutely defiling his body. Yeah. How'd that work out for you? Oh. Ow. Alright, I don't like that. Nice. Oh ho. Ignition. Show me more. Ow. <sighs> I have enough potions, I feel good about this. Just use potions when I need to. Uh, what is that? I don't know what to do. Uh oh. Ow. Nice precision dodge. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Back out, back out, back out. That's so interesting. So much of the fight is gonna do another slash. Damn it, I missed it. So much of the fight is truly a lot of like knowing when to, oh, I gotta get in front of him, I gotta get in front of him. Ah! How? How is this? To oh, I could have zoomed to him. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Okay. I got it. He's gonna do a follow-up slash. He doesn't. I'm still trying to figure out his moves. That's a stagger. Remember break. Come on. Get ignition on him to get hard damage on him. Good. And then we'll finish with an ignition. Yeah. Raw damage. All right. Top off our health. Nice. What? I be. <laughs> Defeated. You admitted defeat the moment you turned your back on us. Clive! Clive is when crushing him. you turned him. your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. It's not over yet. But still. We get it. You can change it to your icon oh. real quick. Torgo? Okay. Oh, no. Damn it. We go again. Barnabas's icon has the coolest transformation look. Like the darkness with the red. It's sick. Come on. 
Don't give up, Clyde. What are you waiting for? No. Men know nothing of strength. He's trying so hard to figure My it out. Apologies. <gasps> you are not the fool I took you for. I never was. And so it ends. No. What? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That? Don't tell me you are tired, Mythos! The loud. Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations! I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self indulgence, a dream forever out of reach! And now that this sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it. He won't give up. Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it! I am completely in awe by him. Like, complete awe. The way that they have done his voice, his acting, everything. This is like some of the best voice acting I think I've heard in some games. I'm gonna have to push everything off him. That's big chunky damage. I, I have to take damage as long as I, I have to stop them from gathering darkness. Ah, uh, it's going to be gathering soon. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I zoomed in front of it by accident. <sighs> it's going to happen soon. Damn it. I'm being so sloppy with this. Okay, I need to go in there. I just need to go in there with a limit break. Harry. He's gathering his darkness. Hurry! He's doing another one. Nice. Here we go. We've stopped it. We've stopped it. Good, 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 good. Quieting? Oh no. He's like a cash like almost. Great divide. We've never seen this before. Oh! Unending. How do you oh. know this day will come? What proof have you? Yeah. Why you us? Strength tonic. 
Oh my gosh, this dagger bar does not want to disappear. Ow. Potion. Yes. Do this. Get ready to do a deadly embrace. I don't think it's gonna work, but yeah. Oh. Nice. Nice. Ow, I forgot he follows up. Every time I have to fix my ear thing. Ow. Oh, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Okay. Did not get the precision on that. High potion. Ow. He's such a turkey. Ah. This might actually take him down. Yes. Yes. Staggered. Get in there. Come on. Come on. It's so beefy. Mission. He's not even staggered anymore. That will tear down. Okay. Oh dear. I can't do anything though. Since then, many have sought my crown, Ethos. I'm sure. But none could wrest it from my head. Item with the thunderstorm? I can't hit him. Yeah. Have you the strength? Have you the will? I can't figure out what I'm doing. I can't figure out what I'm doing. Alright, welcome back to the fight. Just had a nice little show off moment there. I wonder if he can cast that um, darkness again. I'm kind of terrified of that. Alright, go back to back with our ultimates on him. That's not close enough. Nice. See if I can do this. Yours, Mythos. Claim me as your prize. <gasps> what? <laughs> He's like utter madness. He has gone insane. He's got two weapons. You do not disappoint. Ow. Stupid earbuds do not want to stay in. Okay, I found a spot. I found a spot. I found a safe spot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got it. Don't get back into it. I'm like, do not go back into it. Nice. All right, get back up. I don't know how I lucked out with that. He's gonna follow up again. Nice. Come on. He's staggered. Finish him. Ignition, finish, finish him with ignition. For Sid. This is awkward. 
awkward. Okay, there we go. <laughs> At an end. Surely you knew he had to die for me. And we both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Day. Your will? No. Ultimus? It was his. Ugh. Clive Rossfield. Off with his head. No. Damn. But let me get that icon. Like, hold up. We really didn't fight him too much as his icon. Na na na. Finally, Barnabas Lane. I don't think that can be the end. I think it's another fake out like Kupko. Dark shard, the power of the icon Odin made manifest. The shard of the crystal is black as the moonless night and can be heard to emit a soft hum. I still don't, I still don't trust it. Cause I think there's a second part to it. There's gotta be. Maybe not. Once we take his icon, we know we're done with him. Perhaps there is strength in will. Really? Would that I had not relinquished my own. <laughs> hmm. You relinquished nothing. What was it? If not will that made you strive for a new world. Strive to win your master's approval. Wow, it's true. That's so true. You were shown a fantasy. And you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world. But the one we live in. And that world, that world is worth saving, even if it means killing a god. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> yeah. Bold words. From one who has served the Lord so well. Taking down all the dominance. This is pointless. <sighs> but I almost forgot. He has to give him his icon. I yeah. I promised that I would make you presentable. Did I not? <sighs> He's giving it to me. We shall fulfill oh. our destinies. Just as the Lord's mother crystals have fulfilled theirs. I come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. See. Oh. Took him that long to kick him in the face? I don't know. I have some thoughts. Oh. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. 
<laughs> Mother. Oh gosh. Yeah, that whole thing. <laughs> wow. For the last year. I feel like if I really didn't want that to happen, to make myself perfect. Tell me, how does it feel? Here we go. Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? Mm. To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our, Our vessel. Behold. How your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. It's actually just, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh. It's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. The first worm? There, all shall end and begin again. The back of the first worm. Oh, the spine. The spine. At the m mother crystal. That's where it will all end. Of course. Hmm. I am excited for Odin's power, though. Not gonna lie. That's the one I've been looking forward to the most. I love this scene, too, with the rain, and, like, it helps to make him, as the fire icon, just stand out so much more. Yes, okay. Yeah, we need to have a little bit of a conversation because I have some thoughts. That's cool how that happens. We need to go see... Yeah, Gav. And my brother. I wonder what's happened to my brother right now. A vessel complete, meanwhile. Okay, real quick, let's just, um... Oh, shoot, I don't think... Okay, I can pause it real quick. Um, before we, like, dive into what's happening politically in Dalmechia as well and everything. Um, so, I just can't help but wonder why. Like, we had talked about this, I think, last episode. I had told you guys that I get where... I get why, in a lot of ways, that um, Jill gave up her icon to us. And I understand why we accepted to do it, but at the same time, I feel like it's pretty evident that Ultima wants us to have all of the powers. I guess, I guess that I'm not trying that hard not to have all of them because maybe that's what I know that, like maybe that's what Clive knows he needs to have to face off Ultima. And I've talked about it before because I feel like Ultima would use Jill or make something happen to where we would end up killing her. So I guess it was better for us to willingly take it than to, you know, risk her life in some sort of manner. But I just find it so interesting. And even like for Barnabas, he knows that he has to give over his power at the end of the day. And yet he's still, it's, it's actually kind of really cool because he you know despite how you feel about him or not as a person he knew that he had to sacrifice the one thing that made him different from others and his power source and he willingly did that for what he believed in whether right or wrong right and in this case obviously painted as the villain it's funny because barnabas versus clive it's like somebody who uses like talks very eloquently and uses big words and then clive always combats it with more of this like straight answer he's like i'm not gonna waste my time with trying to like stump you with using words um or like ideas that you don't understand i'm just gonna tell it to you straight up so i do love their dialogue like back and forth but yeah once again i just it's interesting how we start by our very first icon we get is actually the blessing of the phoenix which was given to us and then we take right we take from people who don't want to lose that kupko um 
actually the only two icons that we took from people who didn't want to give them up i guess were dion icon or yeah dion garuda and titan but with dion's case as well it wasn't like he willingly gave it nor did he really like need us to take it from him because we didn't have to kill him to take it so there's a lot more with dion's situation as well i don't know i guess that one i found that fight to be while epic and cinematic i still think that dion's fight was the most difficult and also the most enjoyable i liked this fight but i feel like barnabas's icon very like barely played a role in it compared to some of the other ones in a lot of the other fights i feel like we fought them as a man defeated them and then had to fight them in their titan in the ti or titan in their iconic form as well and so yeah i just find it really i almost i don't want to say that they rushed that fight but i feel like as we're winding down in the game it's almost like things are happening faster or they're you know i don't know the pacing of this game is really hit or miss for me it doesn't detract from the game like i still enjoy the game i think that for like consumable content for y'all it might not be maybe as enjoyable to watch because it's so like up and down but i mean i just i wish that that fight had been a little bit more enjoyable i found it to be extremely lackluster for it being barnabas i mean i thought the coolest parts of that entire sequence were hearing him talk and hearing his standpoint on it um and then clive's rebuttal so yeah. Anyways, all right, Randella. Randella. Oh, what's happening? Oh, Byron. Quickly, my lord. Quickly. Oh shh. It's insane. Push it. It's like orcs. No, Byron. <laughs> Why the hell is my city calling with a captain? Don't ask me, ask them! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the head? Since when was Eugen Hamel one to hide when there was a fight to be had? Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. Huh? Now I'm stuck fighting the backside of this one while the city burns and my wife sails off with a man half my age! My wife and sails off! What the hell are you doing here anyway? <laughs> What indeed? The enemy numbers 200,000 or more out of the earth. 200,000? in the capital to repel an army of that size. Yeah. Then one of the central key, held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding mm. forest. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. Typically does that. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> perspective. Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. Havel. Hopefully that guy doesn't die. He seemed really cool. Where the heck is this? Oh. Byron. Oh no. No way, they're gonna take out all six of I need you to lend me some of your best men. Perfectly all of them. <laughs> My best men? Does it look like I have any more? <laughs> I admit this might not be the most brilliant time that my nephew's in trouble. And I may have already promised him your help. <laughs> your nephew, the outlaw. <laughs> My soldiers have better things to do than die for nothing. Whoa, it's not that big. You're of the same mind. I fight for the opposite. We fight yes. for a world in which we shouldn't have to and die for nothing. Yes. And, and he fights today to give us all a chance of a better tomorrow. Be that as it may, a handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom. Come on. Who is this? Who's this? Who's this? New person? Then mayhap they are the wrong men. Dion! Ah! I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. But I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. 
You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. Is it like a thing that you can only be a Dragoon if you're over like six foot five? Like, is this a thing? And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which That's we can discuss later. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. What is this? Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needing Gather the them the bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terrence. Oh, he's still, Terrence is still My alive. Lord. See, I didn't think Terrence made it out. I didn't realize that he survived that night. You will find a girl there. <gasps> a girl? The medicine girl. We're in the middle of a war. I owe her my life, and I always pay my debts. Real Lannister vibes. You to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. Hmm. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. I do not ask this lightly. They've already been separated for so long. Do it. Farewell, Terence. Look at the detailing on his armor, like at the base, when it's a far shot again. Is it the separation or was that a breakup or was that like he doesn't think he's ever going to see him again? I mean, I guess in times like this, you don't. That's going to change the medicine girl's life. Dion is my favorite character, and I know I've said that 10 million times, but it's just his honor and his conviction is just unmatched. Oh, Joshua made it through. Gosh, this can be emotional. <laughs> It's done. Alive. Thank fuck. You all right? I am. Ginger wants it. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. We killed the king. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to figure out what to do. She could give... So... So they're, they're all... Yeah. <laughs> what do we do with her? Do we bring her back to the hideaway? Mmm. <sighs> Although I will say, symbolically, it's pretty cool that, and I think that was a reason why they had her enter in because if I had to guess maybe we'll see her having given birth in the future you know like maybe once everything's all said and done and we've created a world where bears aren't being used for their or shunned and treated as they are I feel like we're gonna see her kid come back into the picture and um yeah she's just a good representation of it's like this is miserable right now but this son is gonna be this child of hers is gonna be born into a world where he is free or she is free they are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. Mm. You safe. <laughs> Save. 
safe but alone. <laughs> We need to talk. Hmm. Okay. We can't take them with us to Drake's spine. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise, nonetheless. Okay, good. And I'll take her. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. Hmm. Completely displaced and everything. It's gonna be a long waddle back. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. And Gav wouldn't be now, safe with Ultima. Least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. And he's done just that. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Uh, he didn't consider it killing. Or a mercy of sorts. <laughs> a way to end their suffering. He and truly no wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. <sighs> As he uses us. Twisted it, distorted. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. <sighs> but that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Yeah. Barnabas said something else. That the mother crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? I sir? missed that. Was it mid fight? We know that the mother crystals have been. Leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. Mm. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. Us combined. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freed that he desires, but a freed and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel <laughs> is mm. another question. Unless... There is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. Over all of Alistair? A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all... We will stop not only the Blight... But Ultima as well. Which is why we have to make haste. 
We stick to the plan then. Only this time. We go together. We face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. <laughs> Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Do you know any songs for the road, brother? so much happened brotherhood brother <laughs> band of brothers the power of darkness clive has claimed a portion of icon odin's essence y'all know the deal all right so he has odin's feet odin's iconic feet arm of darkness can be used temporarily to transform clive's weapon into odin's legendary blade <laughs> all right that's so cool when barnabas fell his magic died with him mm -hmm. the road to stone here is barred to us no longer yeah. Saw that one. All right, party member changes. Let's go ahead and just peep the world map and see what we have. We also got a ton of points. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, that's right. We got mesmerized in Ice Age. Um, Odin, channeled. All right, let's check out his abilities, you guys. <gasps> it's beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. Um. Hmm. Let's see. He has Arm of Darkness, which is what we saw. So that's really cool. He has Heaven's Cloud. Surge forward to strike an enemy can be executed multiple times in succession. If a previous hit lands, each hit landed fills the Zanazuska gauge. Um, and then, oh, we saw this. Oh, okay, that's really cool too. He also has Rift Split. That's cool. And then his ultimate, Dancing Steel. Mmm. Do I like that? Summon a second blade and unleash a flurry of attacks. Each hit landed significantly fills the gauge. I don't know. I don't... <sighs> what do we have right now? I have Garuda. That's right. I was trying to master this. I think I'll throw it on just to test it. So we'll throw it on just to test it instead of... I don't know. I love Shiva's. I'm not taking off Shiva's. I'll remove Garuda's just for a little bit while we fight just some various items and stuff or creatures. Oops, hold on. Otherwise, I'm going to miss that. Throw on the normal abilities. We don't have the ultimate, so I'd need to unlock the ultimate if I want to see that. But for now, let's just test out those. So that's our main mission. But real quick, let's um, we might not be able to. No, we can. Oh, lay it to rest. The mother's minds. So we do, it does look like we have some side missions. Can we go back to the hideaway? Is it like poor timing to go back to the hideaway? It probably is. I think there'll be a moment where we can go back and finish like final things in the hideaway. Like I'm sure there's going to be a point like in FF7 where they're like, hey, if you have anything left, go ahead and do it now. So um, let me step away for one second and see how long this video has been. And we might keep going for a little bit more. So hold on. All right, guys, that is actually going to be the end of it for this episode because it's already pretty long. So I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I reckon we have about two more videos. So I hope you guys enjoy the final acts of Final Fantasy 16. Bye, YouTube.